Hi there. Now, while it certainly is a challenge to find the best tools that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source like our channel to point you in the right direction and show you the brands you can trust. Now, in preparing this list, we reviewed literally dozens of products, and we based our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best tools available today. And make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's get started. Bigger is better. It scans eight different types of film. It converts slides and negatives into digital images in 20 megapixels. It takes no computer to operate and now has a 4.3 inch screen for clearer processing and an HDMI output for direct playback to HDTVs. The newest innovation in the line of F2D film to digital converters is the Titan. Using the F2D Titan's unique speed load adapters 35mm, 110, 126, 127, 135 and APS slides and negatives can be converted, as well as frames of Super 8 and 8mm film. Eight different film formats. It stores your digital images on an internal memory or optional SD-SDHC card slot, and it easily connects to any PC or Mac to offload the files. It can even play your images back through the outboard HDMI port. It is easy. Just push the slides and negatives through the provided adapter and press two buttons located in the front of the F2D. In seconds, your image is completed. Images can be fixed using automatic or manual brightness and color settings. Super 8 and 8mm film loads directly in through the front of the F2D Titan, minimizing processing time. A 4.3 inch screen more formats, and an HDMI port for clearer, quicker processing. Scan your memories with the all-new Kodak Film Scanner. This scanning kit includes video output and USB cables, along with multiple adapters. This scanner features a large swiveling 3.5-inch LCD screen. To get started, simply plug it in and insert your SD card. Hold down the power button and use the buttons to scroll through the menu options. The program's helpful tray and insert directories tell you exactly what to use depending on the specific film type, including everything from 135, Super 8, and 8mm slides to 35mm, 126, and 110 negatives. Convert color and black and white films from nearly any format with six unique easy load inserts and adapters. For further simplicity, the unit comes equipped with large, comfortable buttons for moving through the program's many applications. Once you've scanned a film, hit the main camera button to instantly save to your SD card. The display will even tell you when the memory is full. For ease of operation, the interface features streamlined navigation split into three modes. Gallery helps you to view, flip, rotate, and delete existing photos on your personal SD card. Capture is for scanning, saving, and adjusting image brightness and RGB. And Settings lets you change resolution and LCD brightness, consult the film directory, upload to computer via USB, and more. Use the bonus video and HDMI cables to project your memories on a television or through any other compatible entertainment equipment. To upload your photos for safekeeping, save your memories with Kodak. Share them with the world.
Ion Audio Pix to SD allows you to scan negatives, slides, or pictures to an SD card so that you can store your images digitally on your computer. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Pix to SD, scan an image, and then transfer it to your computer via USB. Let's get started. Make sure that you've inserted your SD card into the front of Pix to SD and that the unit is plugged in. Press the power button on the device to turn it on. After pix to sd boots up, you'll see the mode screen. The mode screen is where you choose what you'd like to do with pix to sd You can change system options, connect to your computer, or enter capture mode to scan your images. You can use the arrow buttons to navigate the mode screen, and the enter button to make your selection. No matter what mode you choose, you can always get back to this main screen by pressing the mode button. First, let's choose your scanning resolution. Press the right arrow key until you've selected resolution, and then press enter. You can choose between 5 megapixels or 10 megapixels by using the arrow keys. 10 megapixels will give you the best scanning quality, but the files will be larger than choosing 5 megapixels, which gives you a good scanning quality with a smaller file size. I'm going to choose 10 megapixels and then press enter to make my selection. This actually brings you right to the capture screen where you can scan your images, but I'm not quite ready to scan my images yet, so I'm going to press the mode button to return back to the main mode screen. Next, I need to tell pix to sd what type of media I'm going to scan. Press the right arrow key until you've selected Film, and then press Enter. On this screen, you can choose whether you're going to be scanning slides, standard film negatives, or black and white negatives. For this video, I'm going to scan a 35mm slide, so I'm going to select Slides, and press Enter. This brings us back to the capture screen, and since we're done selecting our resolution and film type, we can stay here and scan our image. Place your slide or film into the correct holder and insert it into the right side of pix sd As you can see, I've already done this. You also want to make sure that both sliders on the top of the unit are set to Film Scanner. If Photo Scanner is selected, pix sd won't see your slide or your negative, and instead it'll be looking for a full-size photo inserted at the back of the unit. With your image now on the screen, you can mirror it by pressing the left arrow, Flip it upside down by pressing the right arrow. Or adjust the exposure value by pressing the enter button. I want to brighten up my picture just a little bit, so I'm pressing the right arrow button once. Once you're done, press enter again to go back to your image. To scan your image, press the scan button on top of pix to sd and use the arrow keys to save your scan, cancel your scan, or return to the home screen without saving your scan. Press enter once you've made your selection. Congratulations, you've saved an image to your SD card. To view it on pix to sd return to the mode screen and select playback. This option will play a slideshow of any images you have stored on your SD card. To get your image onto your computer, Return to the mode screen and select USB MSDC. Choosing this option while pix to sd is plugged into your computer will turn the scanner into an SD card reader, which can be opened on your computer like any other storage device, allowing you to copy or move your images to your computer and to delete them from your SD card. Once you're done, press the mode button to return back to the mode screen. Do you have hundreds of old photos on film stored away in drawers and boxes? All those precious memories left to be damaged by time and slowly being forgotten, unable to be accessed conveniently to be shared, relived and enjoyed. Now there is a way to rediscover and share all your memories so anyone can enjoy them wherever they are. With PowerFilm, discover a hassle-free way to bring new life to those boxes and boxes of negative film strips. Automatically scan all your film strips quickly and easily. Conveniently manage all your images into albums for easy retrieval and sharing with friends and family both near and far. With PowerFilm, there's no need to wait around. Just load up to 10 film strips on the tray and let it scan away unattended. It is much faster and easier to use compared to other methods such as flatbed or film holder based scanners. 
Since film contains much more detail than photo prints, PowerFilm will let you get the best possible image quality. You can easily clean up your images, auto-correct color, and even fix damage resulting from long-term storage. 24 megapixel scanning brings you quality comparable to a high-end SLR camera. PowerFilm. Restore, share and enjoy those precious past memories with friends and family near and far on any device. Here is a quick overview of the Pile PSCNPH032 film scanner. The unit comes to the following various film adapters, cleaning brush, AV cable, USB mini cable and power adapter, and a user manual. On the front of the unit, you have an LCD display, which will display the pictures. On the side, you'll have the insert for where you put your film bracket into, if you're doing film. This is also where you use the cleaning brush. You insert it and do sweeping motion from side to side. On the back of the unit, you have a slot for SD cards. You have a, your USB mini port, which is for connecting to a computer or for powering the device with the adapter. And you have your TV out AV cable input right here. If you want to hook it up to like an external monitor to see your pictures on a bigger screen. At the top of the unit, you have your power button, your mirror flip buttons, your scan and menu opener, and your OK button for when you're going through menus to select. Before capturing pictures from your film, insert an SD card into the slot. An SD card is required or else you won't be able to save your pictures. To get started, plug in the USB mini charger cable into the input on the back and press and hold the power button for three seconds. You'll see the LCD display lights up and at the top you'll have a blue light. Here are your various options. You can use the arrow keys for mirror and flip to navigate between the different options such as film, resolution, language, USB, capture, playback, and other various things. If you want to scan film, hit the menu button to go back to the menu, navigate over to where it says film and press OK. Then select what kind of film you're doing, either negative films, slides, or B&W. For here, we're going to do negative films. So we'll hit OK, then we'll select what size film we want to do. For this example, we're going to do 110 and then hit OK. Then you'll insert the film into this adapter coming through the bottom where there's no arrow, feed it through here, and come out where this arrow is at the top. Then you will insert it into the side of the unit. and you will see the picture will show up here. Then you can pull the film through this adapter to go to your other various pictures that you want to bring up. And then you hit the scan button up here to take the picture and save it to your SD card.